Hello, fellow adventuresses. So I am here with Heather today, and we have a fun and exciting topic for you: uh, breeches versus jeans. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get into. It. I think a few. If you had asked me a few years ago to make this a topic, I would have been like, you know, on my high horse, like uh, breeches and video done, <laughs> like three seconds. <laughs> but then I played polo, and in polo you play in jeans all the time. So you know, this is an extra conversation, and and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So yeah, thank you, Heather, for for joining me. Well, thank thank you, Crystal, for uh, for being open to talking about wearing <laughs> jeans while you're riding. <laughs> I know it's like I'm growing or something. So before I dive in too much on this topic, I do want to say, like, I just got in the mail. I'm super excited. Our horse nomads book. So Yay! if you guys haven't, yeah, if you guys haven't grabbed it, like, this is what I've been doing at nighttime. Like, I've been reading your stories, and um, yeah, so it's it's a lot of fun. Like for me, it's it's not real until I have the paperback book in my hands. So it's it's real now, guys. We we have it. Horse Nomad. So yeah, head over to Amazon if you haven't already. Um, or you can find it on equestrianofinterests.com. So yeah, okay. Let's let's dive in. Breeches versus jeans. Heather. Yes. So so we thought we would talk about this, you know, really important topic because you know, we gotta wear pants when you ride. Um, but first we want to welcome everyone that's watching live. Um, if you uh, you know, sometimes you don't have time to watch it live, so but still ask your questions, uh, type in where you're where you're watching from. Uh, we love to hear, you know, love to see that, you know, we have uh, friends watching in Australia or watching in uh, California or New York or all those exciting places. So uh, make sure that you uh, tell us where you're watching from. But yes, so jeans versus breeches. Now, um, you know, the old cowboy, you know, cowboys would never in a million years, you know, ever even consider wearing breeches. Um, but, but, you know, they both have their merits, right? Like I find that, um, as a, you know, I, I probably ride more Western than English. Um, but I do find that they've made jeans a lot more, you know, stretchy now. Um, I have a really big horse, so, you know, I need to have stretchy pants to get on the horse. So, but, but how about you, Crystal? What, what, are, you know, you said breeches right away, but now you played the polo. So, so what are, what are your, some pros and cons to both? So I will say I've had experience now in both when Christian and I did our little long ride across Ireland. So both of us have breeches, but during our long ride for two months in Ireland, we actually decided not to ride in breeches, which, you know, the, the horse trainer inside me was kind of like, Crystal, what are, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> but what we did is we actually rode in, it's kind of like jeans, it's not quite, they're called bombashas. You get these pants in, in South America. They're kind of jean texture. So they're kind of rough and tough. They're not very stretchy, to be honest. Um, but they have these big, huge pockets. And oh <laughs> man, I love pockets. So like they had pockets because, you know, girl pants like we just they just don't have pockets anymore. So no. they had these pockets. And, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm riding those bombashas for this long <laughs> ride because I want pockets. Like I want a phone which is accessible on my body. Um, so I will say the jeans, you know, as the trainer in me is going to say always wear breeches. But on the other hand, jeans, like you said, if they can be stretchy or, you know, nowadays, like if you have a pair of really comfortable jeans, which like just fit you, then I'm not opposed to it because you want to be comfortable, especially if you're doing a long ride. You know, we were spending five or six hours a day in the saddle during that particular ride and it was just comfortable and we could like get off the horses and walk and I wasn't too cold and I wasn't too hot and it was just kind of the right thing. So, you know, I would definitely say breeches have their advantage when it comes to if you know you're going to be jumping or if you know you're going to be riding fast or if you need that kind of movement or if it's going to be a hot country and maybe you need that kind of breathable material, you know, that lightweight caught material. So, you know, then I would definitely say breeches. But on the other hand, if you want something rough and tough and you don't care if it gets dirty or, you know, you're riding through the bushes and the branches are I don't know, catching on your pants and ripping little holes, like wear jeans. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely something that I would recommend. You make a really good point about the jeans when you're riding, like if you're on a trail ride and you're going to be going through, uh, you know, some trees, bush, those kind of things, uh, the denim in the jeans is going to hold up 
way better than than breeches. You know, they're 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 not going to snag. Um, and and they're being that the denim traditionally is a little bit thicker. Um, you know, if, if something if a you may you may <laughs> may not get any scrapes kind of thing because the denim will will protect you. And and that's probably where the old cowboy pants really kind of came in when they were out you know having to do things in in rougher conditions that the denim probably protect their skin on their legs a, a little bit more now the one thing that they have really done with with denim uh, with jeans riding jeans for both you know for all disciplines um, particularly is in the waist for women um, you know, we all come in all different shapes and sizes and they've really, um, you know, they've made a more elastic -y waistband. I know uh, Wrangler makes one. I think they're they're called Q babies or whatever. They have an actually elastic built right into the waist um, because, you know, with if, if, you, if you're curvy, then, you know, to get pants that fit you in the hips, they're usually too big in the waist or vice versa and those kind of things. So having that comfort waistband um, is super important for me, whether I'm wearing breeches or, 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 or riding leggings is, you know, and lots of them are called now, um, having that, you know, a wider waistband um, to keep them in place um, is super important to me. Uh, one thing that I do like about breeches or the English pants is, uh, you know, some it, depending on if they're like a, a full seat breech, if they got little groupies, um, you know, more in the knee knee pad area or in the bum area, if you if you need to to stick a little bit better, uh, those ones are. But you know, they have made riding clothes so stylish now that it's like you know you can wear your breeches around town and people think you're just on point so oh yeah it's definitely a fashion statement nowadays everyone wants to look equestrian so yes. yeah thank you thank you gucci and all of you you guys for, <laughs> Louis for making us, yeah yeah you make <laughs> us look oh so good um but yeah so when it you know kind of touching on a little bit of your points i would say there's a time and a place as well for the full seat breeches. Um, so you do want to make sure also like what kind of saddles are you going to be riding in? Mm -hmm. I do remember, you know, a lot of polo saddles, they were kind of this suede material, but sometimes, you know, when you travel, like you don't always know what type of saddles they have. Are they English saddles? Are they Western saddles? Are they like, I don't know, cheapy little suede saddles. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, depending on the material, if you were wearing full seat breeches and it was a bit more of a suede um, seat or something like that, then it might kind of stick in a not pleasant way. So right. you do want to make sure, you know, that would cause chafing. And, and that yeah. is another topic for another day and it's of its own. Um, but right. yeah, so chafing is definitely something that can happen. So my biggest advice would be never like book a trip and then experiment on the trip. Make sure you've already yeah. worn your jeans or your breeches. You don't have to go for a 17 hour hack to test it out, but like make sure you wear them before and do test them out on a like maybe a longer trail or a longer adventure than what you're used to because it might not work for you and it would be really awful to be in the middle of the wilderness and you don't have a plan B. So right. definitely I, make sure. <laughs> absolutely. And, you know, because there there is nothing where, you know, you mentioned chafing. Um, you know, our, our lady bits are, are very sensitive. Um, and, you know, if you get that would wreck your whole holiday if all of a sudden you're you're not comfortable in in that uh, in that zone. And my friend, if any of my friends are watching, they are going to be really laughing because I rode in a trekking saddle um, for the first time, uh, and I obviously positioned uh, when I was in the two point or something odd. And I was a little bit uh, tender in the lady zone the next day. And um, there was a little bit of a language barrier. And the, our guide uh, very bluntly asked me how my what was. And uh, of course, I was mortified <laughs> that uh, that they had uh, that she had asked me that because in, you know, in, in, in Canada, we don't we don't ladies don't talk that way i guess is what i'm trying to say but you know it was it you know i the next day i made sure that i sat different i wore different riding pants the next day just just to make sure so yeah make sure you're comfy 
Yes, I will say, so when I did the Mongol Derby, which if you don't know, this is a thousand kilometers across Mongolia. It's a pretty extreme like race. And so you're riding three or four horses every day and about 150K every day. And I specifically chose for that race, a pair of Iridon like jog purse. So they're sort of boot cut. I think I had like tall boots at the time. And so those Iridon like they're, they're quite stretchy and the material is very thin. And my logic at the time, and, and it actually worked and that's why I'm sharing. My logic at the time was, you know, in Mongolia, the weather can change, you know, from hour to hour, minute by minute. So it could be super sunny one second, pouring rain the next, then it's hail, then it's sunny again. You just never know. So my logic with those sort of really thin material iridon breeches or jog purse was that they would be able to dry quickly that they were kind of breezy if it was too hot like they just had all kinds of pluses and it did actually really work so during the derby you know even if i got like sweaty or if i got rained on for some reason like overnight or whatever like i would just hang them up or something and they would be dry and, and perfect the next day and so you know I didn't have to worry. I mean, you know, I'm in the Mongolian steps. Like, it's not like I could wash my clothes and I didn't have room for a second spare or whatever. So, you know, that really worked for me. And it is like the material is very thin. So if you're going to ride in, in the brushes, you're probably going to get, you know, scratched or whatever. So I probably wouldn't, you know, opt for that in a, in a really like, I don't know, mountainy adventure ride. But for the purpose of Mongolia and I was just galloping on the steps and I needed something that was kind of weather friendly then those really worked for me. And then also because I was out of the saddle in like jumping position quite a lot. So obviously, you know, I don't have some big belt poking on my belly or, you know, I'm not uncomfortable in any way. And like you said, they have a very elastic waistband and, you know, so it, it was just very comfortable. So I would definitely recommend that particular breed. We, or sorry, brand. We do have a packing list on the Equestrian Adventurers' website. If you just scroll down to the website, there's a search bar. Just search packing list or you can find it in our resources um, section. But the, the exact breaches which I used um, are in the packing list. And then also I think a few other recommendations based on other adventuresses, like what they kind of prefer. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments as well if there's like a brand or a specific type which you love. Um, Tori says I wore Iridon pants riding in Iceland. So yeah, uh, let us know how like if you liked them because I found those ones to be my favorite. The only problem I had with them is they didn't have a pocket. That was really my only problem. <laughs> they didn't have a pocket. So maybe nowadays they have pockets. If they have pockets, I'm going to be super excited and that's all I'm going to wear forever. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so thank you, Tori, for, for sharing. Heather, I don't know if you have any other final tips or advice. Or... Well, no, just, you know, making sure that, like, you made a great point having ones that, because there was inclement weather, um, something that's going to dry quick, um, because there's nothing worse than being wet and cold um, and having pants that are never going to dry, whereas, you know, a lighter ones will uh, will dry quickly. And yeah, yoga pants, I have actually ridden in um, yoga pants and they are so comfy. Uh, I don't now, I've only ridden maybe an hour at a time, not for, for any great length of time. Uh, but, you know, I think going back to what you said, you know, breaking in your pants, um, because, you know, lots of jeans have, you know, have thicker seams, um, whereas you're, you're, your riding leggings or your jaw purrs, your breeches, they're all going to have, you know, seams in different places. The legging style now, some of them are just having almost like a, a seam just around the crotch, whereas the legs are a, a solid unit. So, you know, kind of test driving everything before you go. Um, pockets, uh, I would recommend if you're going to get have ones that have like a little zipper on it. So like you said, you can put your phone in or your lip chap or, or something small. Um, so it won't shimmy out if you're going through some trees or going fast and your legs are moving and those kind of things. So yeah. Yes. And if you were watching at the beginning of the video, then bombashas. <laughs> yeah. Those are a, a secret little, if you're ever happen to be in South America, just pick up some bombashas. Bombashas. Yes. Oh, the that's... only problem, they were only for men. So again, like with my waist and my hip, like I have hips, like I'm a woman, you know, so they don't really think about stuff like that, unfortunately, but I like them. They are getting better. I have started to see way more uh, better design for women because you know the men are super straight they have no hips no waist it's just they're like a box 
Um, and, and ladies do have some shape, so we need to have, uh, have clothes that fit us properly. And, you know, especially for, for the long haul, um, you know, if you're riding, um, you know, making sure that they're the right length and they're not got, you know, or, or even trying them on, if you're wearing your pants inside your boots or over your boots, uh, you want to kind of check that out too. Definitely. And, and yes. from a coach, from a coach's perspective, I'm still going to default to breaches, by the way, just for the, <laughs> just, just for the end of it. <laughs> so ignore this whole video. <laughs> Except well, the I, good stuff. <laughs> I, uh, I have been riding my, in my Western saddle in breaches. So <laughs> I guess it, it really doesn't matter. You know, whatever, I, I think the most important part is that you're comfortable. You know, when you're on a riding holiday in Ireland, Iceland, Mongolia, this is about your holiday too. So you have to be comfortable. And um, as much as my friends will say, it's not a fashion show, Heather, um, you know, it, you still, you want to look the part, but you also want to be uh, comfortable and have the clothes functionable. Yes. And yes, you know, for the Western riders who haven't tried breeches, basically the whole purpose of the breeches was that they allow you to move with the horse without anything catching. You know, sometimes right. the jeans, like you mentioned, if they're outside the boots or whatever, they might catch in the stirrups or, you know, all kinds of things might happen. So again, you know, be comfortable, wear what's going to be appropriate for being long hours in the saddle and test it out, test it out before you go on that long trip. So yes, I think exactly. <laughs> yes, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, we have a Facebook user. I unfortunately can't see who, but says always jeans, oh. <laughs> <laughs> always jeans. So there you go, guys. Always jeans. Well, they've Facebook made them user. stretchy now. So that does, uh, that, you know, the, yes. that, that definitely helps. So yeah. I I'm still probably, if I'm in, if I'm riding at home, probably a combo, you know, if I'm out, on a, a trail ride then probably jeans but uh most of my international adventures have been in english saddles so it's uh in an english saddle breeches just seem to make the most sense yes and having some kind of like half chaps or something or tall yeah. boots to accompany it always makes a big difference as well so yeah yes. thank you guys so much hopefully you guys have found this video helpful and yeah thank you to those who who joined us live and, and commented make sure you guys leave us you know, mm -hmm. little notes. We always check the comments even after the video is not live anymore. So if you guys have topic ideas or questions or suggestions, uh, we'll be around. Um, yeah, we'll be around. We, we do these videos pretty regularly now. So yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you guys. And we will see you next week. Bye.